Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to, uh, Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Well, let's, uh, head on in. I've already shut off all the enemies, so... Shouldn't need to do that again. We're gonna head east here. Before we go any further, though, cast float. Now, if somebody dies, they will lose float, so be aware of that. We should get a lot of levels and experience here. It's actually probably better for those Malvaros to use, uh... Well, after you tow them, attack all, all the same one. And then have Rydia use Bio on the other one. And then, you know, a couple more attacks. That's what I did there. It's probably faster than, uh... Using Titan, but... Eh, Titan works as well. Now, Angel Arrows, they deal more damage against Giants. I'd hold on to them. They're pretty useful. I'm gonna head south now. Can't get that last chest, so don't worry about it. Well, we can later, but not yet. Can you run uh, B2? Oh, every time you enter a new floor, cast float. Yeah, it's rather unfortunate, but at this fork, we're gonna head west. Actually, this is a different formation. Maybe I should show this off now to think about it. I'm gonna... Oof, this is a tough formation. Uh, I think we can Toad, actually, for free, because I don't think... Yeah, we need to Toad immediately. If I can get... Nope, nope, where is Toad? Get the Toad. And then, you know, we want to silence. Cecil's getting his ass kicked, of course. I don't think Toad triggers their counter. I'm correct, it does not. That's Cecil here himself. Getting your ass kicked here is uh, pretty normal, by the way. I'm definitely using... You know what? We should use Ifra here. No, we should use Titan, because, yeah, let's use Titan. Because it, the Valbros are not weak to you. Fire, even though the Elder Twins are. Ifrit would work as well. But, uh, yeah, let's soften them up a little bit for Titan. I had to have Rosic here. This ought to do it. Really? That didn't do it, huh? I'm very surprised. Uh-oh. That should be enough, though, right? No, don't kill Cecil! You killed Cecil. That is annoying. Oh, well, let's get a race going. And then, uh, have you attack. Why not? That should kill him. Annoying. I wanted Cecil to get the experience. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's about right, really. Uh, this is not... This area is not fun. The enemies are really hard. They're definitely expecting you to have done some level grinding. I think Edge's low level was your hint that you should have been doing level grinding, huh? But that's okay. You don't really need to as long as you, uh... Oh, I need to cast Float because this will die. Oh, no, no, you don't. Oh, okay. I forgot. Uh, float does not wear off upon death. Yeah, I think I am going to equip that Diamond Armor on, uh, Cecil. He's really taking a beating. Uh, the reason being is I'm toting those evil dreamers anyway, so I don't care if I'm weak to fire. Fyra is actually not that bad, I mean, with the magic defense multipliers, even with a weakness. Now, if it was Fyraga, uh, I'd probably be in bigger trouble, but we're gonna head north now. Can we make it? You're gonna gain levels pretty quickly here. Float again, obviously. It's too bad Cecil doesn't get float. But whatever. Don't be afraid to use ethers. Should be a high potion of Maiden's Kiss up here. 
Okay, let's nab this. High potion, maiden's kiss, into the wall here. Grab this fairy rod for Rydia. She has 52 intellect. Just to show you it. Yeah, it's got plus 10 on it, so she would get 62. Very, very useful, but uh, I'm gonna stick with the silencing arrows for now. Obviously, hold on to the fairy rod, it's really good. So, let's see, back to the stairs. Oh, bog witches, I might be able to do this one quickly. If I can get a flood off. And if failing that, I can show you what I can do with uh, the toad spell. Yeah, uh, don't toad edge. Ah, you toaded edge. So, now we can showcase the toad spell with Rydia. Go ahead and toad the bog witch. Even if Rydia gets toted, it's not going to stop that. Then I will use Asuna if... Nah, I should probably not use Asuna. There we go. We're good now. Make sure you take out the Bogwitch. Before. Yeah, she'll still say Ribbit, but they won't actually listen to her, which is strange. Actually, yeah, let's use arrows. I want to take out the Bogwitch before there's only one. Um... Before, you know, before I take out the toads, because otherwise she can cast toad on you. I, yeah, she can. She actually toads herself and then toads you. I think when, if she's a toad, she'll toad herself to undo toad and then toad herself again to redo toad for some weird reason and then start toading you, which is not good. So don't let her. Don't let that happen. Man, the enemies are strong. Oh, you're kidding me! One step battle? Come on, game. Ugh. I hate when that happens. I really do. Yeah, unfortunately, this is gonna get his ass kicked because he's weak to fire. But whatever. Silence. Oh boy. Uh, Kira, please. Toad. Yeah, silence works on them, too. Although I probably should have just cast Toad and then many. But uh, I was kind of panicking. It was an ambush and I wasn't thinking. But we got them now. Yeah, yeah, we're good. There's no point in even healing now. We will get equipment that will make this easier. But these enemies are just pretty brutal, frankly. Try not to end the battle with auto battle. It it, it won't end well, trust me. <laughs> Kiraga, Cecil. Kira. I think we're okay for now. Maybe a cure on Rydia, yeah. Okay, don't go down the stairs. Wait, let's see. Back to the... Should be a way to go east through the wall? Yes, okay. Let's see, we want to go... North and east, go up the stairs. Right, okay. Cast float. There, we got some stuff here. 3,000 gil, bomb core, remedy, and 2,000 gil. Awesome. Gonna keep going south. It's probably a good time for an ether. On Rosa, yeah. Right, okay, so get a bestiary. Emergency exits. Should be a Maiden's Kiss as well. What's this? Ether? And yeah, another Maiden's Kiss. Okay. Fall into the hole. K 
cast float again. Keep going north. I think there's a... Uh-oh. It's a dead end! Yeah, we're going west of the wall. This leads to this. And here we are. Uh-oh. Cast float. Forgot. And, yeah, let's use an ether. And an ether. And probably a good Kiraga on everybody. Yeah. Followed by a Kira and Kane. Okay, so. All of these chests are guarded. I want to open the... Okay, no. no ah, I hate that fight. Uh, it's the same as the other Bog Witch fight, but... You know, try to flood, if failing that, toad the Bog Witch, and then, you know, peck them off. But it takes forever, because there's so many of them. I want to open the center bottom one first. Because... Well, first of all, it's four Valboros. Uh, they're hard. <laughs> oh, crap! It's a back attack! Oh, that's really, really bad. Please do not kill Rydia. I need Toad in this battle. Um, this is really bad. If they try to all attack... Okay, luckily they're doing bad breath. I think maybe they start with bad breath always, but... If they gang up on Rydia, I am screwed here. I need to get my rose swapped now. Oh, yep. That's what I was afraid was going to happen. I need Rydia or I don't stand a chance. This is not really an option. I have to have Rydia. Please cure her. I... Do not kill her, I swear to God. I need Rydia. I need to toad these guys or I am screwed. These guys are just way too powerful for this point in the game. I mean, if they decide to actually attack me and not use that bile attack, it won't end well for me. Uh, toad. toad. Toad, 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 Toad. Yeah, look at that damage to poor Cecil. Okay, good. I mean, Rydia's in the back row, so she's doing okay. Get that Toad off, please. Thank you. Okay, we're good. We won. Yeah, without crowd control, I don't know how you would do this. There's so many of these guys. Uh, I'm probably going to summon Titan. Man, there's so many of these guys. Holy crap. Uh, Titan. It's a lot of MP, but whatever. We're gonna cast Teleport out of here after this, I think. And then heal up. It's really designed for multiple trips. Come on, get Titan off so I can... Thank you. Kill him. Probably gonna take two episodes to go through here. Because there's just so many battles I have to edit out. This episode is taking a while to even record. The Mighty Avenger! One of the best weapons in the game. Yes, I want that. Take it. Uh, we're gonna equip that immediately. Kiraga. Kira. Oof, man, Rosa, you are not doing so well. Let's use another ether on you. Okay, we're going to equip this on Kane. Uh, unfortunately, it is a two-handed weapon, which means I need to drop the shield. It really sucks, but the nice thing about the Avenger Sword is it has auto Berserk. Unfortunately, if you're playing the Game Boy Advance version, Berserk is really slow. Like, it has a long charge time. It's completely useless. But in every other version of the game, it's great. Uh, even the 3DS, even the, the DS version, even the 3D version. Uh, I want to actually give uh, the ice armor back to, to Cecil and give the diamond armor over to Kane. Uh, because even though, well, he's actually not going to have a weakness to anything, so that's good. Cecil will be back to being resistant to fire, which is good. But more importantly, I think Kane needs the defense more now with the lack of a shield, but whatever. Uh, hang on to the flame shield for later. I don't 
think I'll need it, but whatever. I'm gonna hang on to the ice armor too, just in case. I don't think I'll need it either, but just in case. Flame shield I actually might need later, yeah. I probably will use it. But uh, anyway, we're gonna open the bottom left one now. Which should be... Yeah, yeah, two Elder Trents and two Malboros. We're going to silence and toad them. Yep. Watch Kane. Uh, yeah. So, Toad. Get Toad going. Get Toad going. Guess we can go ahead and immediately silence. Toad them. I'll use, uh, well, I could use Ifrit here. If I can get a uh, turn in. Edgewise. Let's see what Kane does here. Yeah, look at that damage that Kane does. Yeah, we probably won't need Ifrit. Depends on what happens with these trends. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Heal. Cecil, please. Okay, good. We're good. We don't need to heal. We don't need to use Ifrit then. Depending on how the battle went, I would need to use Ifrit. If Kane was beating up on the Malboros, I would use Ifrit. But we don't need to. Now. Uh, maybe a bio is in order? Yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah, the Avenger Sword helps so much. But I want this one next, because it is the mighty, uh... Oh, we learned Flect, which I don't really care about right now, but it is useful for later. Moonring Blade! It's a better boomerang. Oh my god, we needed that so badly. Uh, equip that immediately on Kane. Or, on Edge, sorry. And, uh, yeah, that'll help him out so much. He needed that boost of attack power desperately. Better heal up Cecil. And definitely gotta heal up Kane. one do we want now? After these chests, we're gonna end this episode. Uh, the rest of the chests aren't really relevant, but just so you know, the bottom right one has Medusa arrows. It's guarded by two tunnelers. I'm gonna grab it. The other three contain uh, Blue Fang, White Fang, Red Fang. Uh, hold on to the Blue Fang! The Red Fang and the White Fang can go. You can just uh, sell them or drop them or whatever. But yeah, hold on to the Blue Fang for sure. All of those top chests are guarded by Evil Dreamers. Just towed them all in attack. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, after that, we're going to take the Portal East to leave the dungeon. Restock on arrows if you need to. Uh, I do not need to. And use the Healing Pot. But I'm going to eliminate... Er yeah, I'll just edit out this, these battles. Because there's just not much to them. Uh, well, actually, this one's two tunnelers. So, we'll... Uh, show that, and then we'll show one of the Evil Dreamers. Wow. Yeah, I could buy a lot to do the trick. Yay! Medusa arrows. I don't really care. I think this is a blue thing. But yeah, it's like six Evil Dreamers, so just go ahead and toad them. And uh, you'll be fine. Toad. Many. Those are good combinations. Silencing arrows. Good stuff. Just kind of attack. Really, you don't, really don't even need to toad mini combo, but... Oh, well, you might. I, I like doing it. It completely cripples them, so, you know. The mini, uh... I think it's just a defense hero. Although toad might already do that, I suppose, but... Who doesn't like mini toads? I don't know. It gets it, it makes sure that all of them are are completely crowd controlled. In case I don't know, Rydia misses one or something. Yeah, 
Nice, Rydia. That's pretty good as well. Nice. Oh, that's the White Fang. Whatever. Okay, so I'll be back when I, uh... Well, let's open this one and I'll be right back. Man, I am, like, completely crippled. Yeah, I guess you don't need to, uh... Mini and Toad together, but... I would cast them at the same time if, if one hasn't gone off. I guess Toad also sets their defense to zero. I forgot about that. High potions. Oof, I really don't want to use them at Aether because we're leaving in a second here. Alright, yeah, let's risk it. We have enough for Toad. That should be good. Alright, I'll take out this guy and be right back. Okay, that chest was the Blue Fang. I want to keep that one. I do not care about the other ones. These arrows aren't very good either. I don't care about the emergency exit either. Put that there. Bomb core is useless. Maiden's kisses aren't very good either anymore because we have Toad spell. Yeah, with Piggy, you do want to... If you, if you can Mini and Pig, then I would definitely do both. But, because Piggy doesn't think sets their defense to one. Uh, Mini does, however. Let's get out of here. That should... Yeah, that teleports you off, thank god. This place is a nightmare. Let's use the healing pot. Self cave is really hard, even compared to the sealed cave. But that's okay. Restock on arrows if you need to, of course. Now we're gonna go back to the cavern. And uh, we've still got quite a few, like half the dungeon left, so <laughs> yay. But we'll do that in the next episode. This is Ryzen, thanks for watching. Take care.